Right, carrying on the video. Just met a nice girl. She's um really enjoying herself. A nice smiley and happy face, full of the joys of um summer and enjoying the walk. I mean the only thing today compared to when I did it in September last year was it was blue sky. Um, it does make a bit of a difference when you've got the blue sky. Now that person over there seems to be hovering there rather a lot, doesn't he? I mean, he could be waiting for others. Heard of black cows? Oh, a lot bigger than them. Oh, she was really nice, wasn't she? Isn't it nice to see a happy face? All in orange as well. It's it uh, lifts my spirit, you know, knowing that us women are getting out. Oh, look, someone's left their spoon behind. It's one of those special ones as well. You can't touch it, it's COVID. Someone's had a... It looks to me like someone's had a yoghurt there. Yeah, they could be just resting. There's someone else now I've just seen. They're probably waiting for someone to catch up. I mean, these straps that I've got, they're luminous, you know, at night. If I didn't have the cover on the bag, um, my whole bag would light up when I'm going along. <laughs> Hello, foxgloves. How are you? You're really doing well. You've... You've been following me on all my walks. So I'm doing a bit, what I'm going to do, because I've shown you me going up a bit of Hilston Point, Coombe I mean, so that you know I've done it and it's hard. I didn't do a lot of it. But I'm also saving the battery and the memory um, <clears throat> so I won't be doing a lot of video and going uphill <sighs> no one wants to hear me heavy breathing do they if what I remember there's a little stream here because someone last year I met had a dog and the, the dog just loved the streams it was a very hot day the last time I came here this is also a place where everyone visits his nature if you know what I mean because it's hidden it's hidden. Look at the lush vegetation. Hear the babbling brook. You hear it? This is absolute heaven. Now that young girl will meet a couple that are coming. They were coming up the coombe actually. They were, yeah, they were coming up the coombe behind me. So they obviously struggled as well. And what I remember of this walk, I've done one climb. There's that one there. What I remember after that, there aren't any more big climbs like that until you get to the end. Off that lovely curly bit. Unless I've missed a coom out, of course, which could have, could be possible. <laughs> it's possible that <sighs> I've missed a coom out. <sighs> Where's those people? <sighs> yeah, a couple again. Beautiful, isn't it? It's like the girl said. She was surprised how quiet it was and how lovely. She thought it'd be lots of people. A lot of people are put off with the term rugged route. Some clouds going over. <sighs> yeah, they're put off by the term rugged route. Um, they think it's um, like real, real difficult, you know. Like I said, there's a small stretch I've got to do, like this going up, over there, 
minute. Let's see it in a minute. Similar to the other one. Except with the other one, I was going down, then up a bit. When you see people, it shows you the route, really. You can even hear people talking. I'm, I'm not turning off yet. No. But there will be heavy breathing. Right, what's over there? What's that? Oh, rocks. Features. I mean, this rugged route borders arable land, really. It borders it. There we go. So we've done a bit of a climb, shall I've piled a lot more on my shoulders in my rucksack now. I've got hardly anything at the bottom. The food's in the bottom. Very squashed food. I said I don't feel hungry at all. I'll suddenly get very hungry. Right, down into the coom. I'm going to stop after this tree, take some photos. Okay, there we go, stop. Right, just met that lady there and that gentleman. They didn't know the rugged route was so rugged. Um, and there's somebody coming over there, gently plodding along. I met a girl with a bright orange fluorescent rucksack. I think I mentioned it on the other video. Yeah, they're full of uh, brightness. She was like sunshine, to be quite honest, with that orange bag she had. <sighs> yeah, so I'm up, right up here, look. And uh, I'm right up here. Way there, aren't we now? There might be another comb, I can't remember. I remember these last two. There's a possibility there's another one that I've forgotten about. There's a rock over there, it almost looks like it's the front of a house, doesn't it? Look, you know, makes you wonder if it was. I reckon that was a building. Really too, it could have been like a shrine. Yeah, that was a building once. Shepherd's hut or something. Anyone else coming? Can't see anyone else at the moment. Cross some point over there. It's just starting to rain again. As I said, I ain't bothering to take my uh, waterproof trousers off. So 
So this is it folks, this is the rugged route. Yeah, I just met a couple, they must have been in their 70s or even 80s, and they didn't realise it was like this. They they thought it was um, plain sailing. What, I told them that was the upper path. I think if you're halfway now, you, they've got to keep going really. Um, I think, <sighs> yeah, they got another coom like that to do, and then it'll be, that's more or less it really. Depends what they want to do. If they want to go to Poor Lock, they got to go down there. Some place. Uh, we've all had to learn. We've all had to learn. Time to put the umbrella up, Phil. <laughs> 